I love the concept of Bloody Mary chili because it combines two things I really associate with watching football games chili and Bloody Marys. It's the perfect combination. All right, now I've been starting by sauteing some onions and celery, and I'll add some garlic to give it amazing flavor. And now for the beef, and I'll just go right in with it, and then I'll just stir this around and get the beef cooking. I need it to get totally brown, so I'll let it keep going. Now, normally when I make chili, I usually let the meat brown, and then I add some tomato products, like diced tomatoes, tomato juice, but this time, I'm gonna whip up a batch of Bloody Marys, and that's gonna go into the chili. It's a really, really fun variation. So into the pitcher, I'll add about a half a bottle of Bloody Mary mix, about 15 ounces or so. And then, of course, Bloody Mary has vodka in it. So I just pour in a little bit of vodka, not too, too much, about a fourth a cup or so, give or take. <laughs> These are big, strong men. And then for some nice savory flavor, some Worcestershire sauce. And I know those guys like spice, so I need to put some hot sauce in here. They would be disappointed if it didn't burn their tongue just a little bit. Now, one ingredient I always add to Bloody Marys when I make them, it's a little unusual, Montreal steak seasoning. I love this kind of seasoning. It's just so deep and savory and a little bit salty. It makes everything absolutely delicious. And that right there is Bloody Mary. I could just pour this over a glass of ice right now, but I won't. It's got to go into the chili. Okay, the meat is totally brown. Now, if there's excess grease, you can drain it off, but there wasn't too much here. It was pretty lean. So for the chili seasoning, I'll add a good amount of chili powder. I love that deep, dark flavor. I always add cumin to my chili. There's just that unmistakable flavor that I absolutely love. And then a little bit of ground oregano, another great chili seasoning. And I'll stir this around. Oh, it smells so good. Now, you guessed it. It's time for the Bloody Mary to go in. This is gonna create the most delectable sauce. Oh, smells so good. And then I have two different kinds of beans. I just had a can of kidney beans and a can of pinto beans. I drained them and rinsed them, and they just go right in. And I'll just stir them in. All right, looking so good. Now I'm gonna put the lid on, and I'm gonna simmer it for an hour, and it's gonna get even better. Well, all the food is ready. That chili smells so good. Hey, honey. Well, speak of the devil. Hey, Ree. <laughs> Hello, Coach Long. <laughs> Hello, Ree. We're here to do film. So I've got some chili and chips and carrots and celery and right. ranch and brownies, and there's beer in the fridge. Perfect. Sounds good. And I hope you don't mind, but I think I've had enough football talk for a while, so I'm going to leave you guys to it. But <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, yeah, thanks, thank you. Guys. All right, we're in. Nice. Mm. Leave a little, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we might not have let Joe go. I think this is a double dip chili here. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs>